Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be playing with Sharpies over a black and white mani. I've got my nails painted with the gel polish and this is Bundle Monsters Nail Stamp for Fun BMXL206. I've got my Beauty Big Bang Scraper, my monocle stamper, and I'll be stamping with the Nicole Diary White NS01. And there's my Sharpies. I'll also be using that smudge free top coat today. And let's get going. So I wanted to show you all, um, you know, my theory on, you know, using gel polishes as your base. I have one hand painted black and the other one painted white with gel polishes. And I have several mannies planned to do over these two bases. But today we're playing with the black one. And I'm just using this full size image over on the side, trying to get up, you know, different parts of that image so that all the nails don't match. They're not matchy matchy, but they, they're very cohesive and work well together. So you can see how I'm using this, um, this plate. I'm kind of quartering off that image. It worked out really well. Uh, I loved having all the different pieces of this one on there. And I'm just stamping those willy-nilly, willy-nilly. And here we go. We're going to get this last one done. I do love these big bundle monster plates. It's been a while since I've played with them. And oopsie, look what happened. I got a little bit of that white. I, I, I pre-stamped. And it's not coming off with my tape. So, since I have on gel polish, I can use the non-acetone. Look at there. Like it never happened. Love it. And since I've let that stamp design dry while I'm cleaning up that nail, I'm just going to apply some sticky base coat to it real quick. Just a super, super thin layer of it. If I can find a dry spot on my table. You know, just a little thin layer of that. And I'm going to blow on it and try to line this up a little better and not bump it. There we go. There we go. Got it. So now that those are all dry, I'm going to use this Bundle Monster top coat. And this is that smudge free one that I keep talking about and I hope y'all don't get tired of hearing me talk about it, but it really does work. So I'm, I'm really impressed. Like I said, I do want to try some of the other brands out there and see. Now this is a pretty manicure just like this. This black and white just works so much for me. I love it, but I wanted to play with Sharpie. So I've got like a little plastic lid from yogurt or sour cream or something. And I'm just scribbling some of that Sharpie down in there. I'm taking my 91% alcohol, got a little spritz bottle, and give it a couple little spritzes. And I'm going to use this little art brush. Came in a set. I don't even remember when I got these. A long time ago. You can tell I've already gotten started a little bit with one of the colors. I wanted to make sure this was going to work before I wasted, you know, my time showing y'all. <laughs> you know, recording a whole video and then not even using it. So... I wanted to make sure that the colors were going to pop as much as I wanted them to. And I, and I think they did pretty good. So I'm not putting the same colors in the same areas on each nail. I'm moving it around um, just to totally throw this one on its head. Now I'm cleaning my brush off with just that alcohol, the 91% alcohol. And I'm going to use another color. This is a really neat technique and, you know, it just gives you, there's so many options to it. You could do like gradients with it. You could just do it all one color. It's just, it's, it's just cool. It's, and it's been a long, long time since I played with it. Um, but my friend JKB had kept mentioning she had been playing with her Sharpies. And so I did put it on the list. It's been on the list for a while now. So I finally got a round to it. I will have to show you all my round to it one day that my husband made me. Because um, I'm always saying I'm going to get around to it. There's a lot of that in my world. But I really do like doing a lot of different types of nail art. I know I get hooked on stamping, but this is stamping combined with something else. So, there we go. Oops, we got a little bit of alcohol on the table. Good thing we got our little mat down. stuff rolling around getting crazy 
So we're going to do this again with this lighter pink. And my Sharpies were actually new, but they're, they're just acting like they don't want to play nice. I don't know what's up with that. squirting it with some of that alcohol and what I love about this is um, you know it y you could just use the colors of the rainbow you could you know just use your imagination and go crazy with this one you could get real intricate and you know actually follow the patterns on the flowers and color them in one color and then around it with another color I just love it I think it's just so neat and you can keep applying them until you like the way it looks. Like if you get done and you look at it and it's not quite there, then you can you can do some more. It's all easy. And I like easy. I also like doing it this way because I don't get Sharpie marker all over my cuticles and the skin around my nails. Um, see, you just saw me. I just added some more alcohol to the red because I'm going to go back in and touch some spots up a little bit. You just reactivate that um, alcohol ink is basically what it is. So there we go. And I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat. I've let these dry. It didn't take long at all. Um, you know, with that alcohol and Sharpies, they, they, they dry very quickly. I really, really like this one. So much fun. And in a couple of days, I'm going to pull this off of that black base and do something else on top of this. The loveliness of gel bases. There's Woody. I knew he would have to make an appearance at some point. Because he always does. And there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I hope you liked this one. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about it. There's my swatch photo. And that is it for today. So thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.